Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to some uh, Spider So What episode 13. I will be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I'll be starting my reaction in one, zero, go! Alright. Hmm. Kind of. Even though, yes, I'm happy that our cutesy spider defeated Araba. It is sad seeing her in her state. Aww. Oh, see, at this rate, it does make her a. Or at least a survivor. Hey! That's looking at things at the very least on the semi-positive side. Aw, oh, it's so nice to see you're all pumped up. Yes, freedom! <laughs> I mean, hey! Oh! Oh! I mean, hey! No one said it was ever gonna be easy. I mean, she might have no choice, blow, but... Oh! <laughs> oh, my! I mean, hey, these humans asked for it. She's just wanting to some freedom. True. As long as they're all dead. Then, hey, there's no one that's going to be able to tell anyone else about the actions that she did. Besides, she's just a beautiful... Oh, I wonder who's that upper-looking spider. I just like that little dancing there. It's freaking adorable. Hmm. Okay, that spider there looks pretty damn creepy. Wonder if it's, um... Wonder if some of the stuff it's showing is our main girl before she got isekai hmm. Okay, I am definitely pumped to see that humongous spider. <laughs> Looks like a beast. Whoa. I wonder how the Dark Lord ends up in Canary and our main Protag. Huh. Alright. Kind of see where this is going to lead. But yo, just going off of the opening, it seems like this core is going to be even better than the first one, which can't wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the way just uh, hungry is better. <laughs> oh man, it always puts a smile to my face. Gonna have casted our cute little spider the better voice. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work that way. They're gonna be trying to attack her. Mm hmm. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> A shame that things would turn out that way if she were to go to a town. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Or who knows, people might actually be more scared of her because she might have some kind of like a menacing aura if she were to get a human form, though. I mean, hey, you never know. No. Whoa. I didn't even see that. That. Okay, that's a. <laughs> Talk about an authoritarian ability there. Wow. At least now we know why. At least now we know who was attacking her in the opening. Well, one of the people attacking her. Her mother. And honestly, I think the mother should fuck. She should, she should back the fuck up considering the fact that our main girl's been defending herself and fending for herself. She actually deserves the right to actually celebrate her freedom, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, going by the opening, there's going to be some huge-ass consequences for that. Hmm. Cute little man. I mean, eh, with what's going on, Shun's gonna be constantly busy. I ain't gonna blame him one bit. I just wonder between the war who has the upper hand between humanity or and their opposition. I mean, yeah, but what's bound to happen, I don't think she should be that hard on herself, you know? Honestly, yeah, no matter what Finleos did, there was no fucking way they were going to be able to stop that gorgeous white-haired lady. All they can do is just try to... If Julius was fully trained and he got his ass whooped. Oh, I mean, I guess now that justifies why they'd want to send Skelane out there. Still, though, I mean, shouldn't they at least allow him, like, maybe a few, bit more time to train himself up a little bit more, though? Before throwing him into the figurative fire? I mean, at least now they do have a just of all both cause though. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay, now that begs the question, why in the hell would she... Why would she be so dead set against making peace with the humans then? It's a bigger question. I mean, I wouldn't blame him for having reservations. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> it's pretty big to just, um... Give him just a small bit of information and not the full load of info. Because this is going to weigh on Squain's subconscious for at least a good deal. And he's already stressed out having to deal with a lot of other stuff. Dealing with the higher amounts of responsibilities. Still with the death of his own uh, brother. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's been a while since they've actually shown, shown him off. I mean, I'm not gonna blame her, she was all over. Yeah, she was all over Shalane, so I'm not gonna blame her one bit. For her mood. Oh boy. And this is why I thought the elf should have killed Hugo off when she had the chance. Because now he looks buffed up. Oh boy. Mm, yep. And. Uh, because of, yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to blame the teacher for not killing Hugo, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, my. Wait, what's over there actually going after a cutesy little spider? Oh, no. That's a fucking adorable physics. Although, um, if the mother is that angry, I just hope our girls are ready. Ready for a fight to the death. Because that don't look like... Alright, good, 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 good. Goons? And there's multiples of them, ain't just uh, one of them. Yeah, she's definitely gonna have to run the fuck away. Oh! I mean, would she be capable of doing- Oh, I mean, I hope when she says they're- Starting to put a fight against Anaba. I hope she means that that they're strong enough collectively. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're all spiders. <laughs> they're gonna be able to study, understand each other pretty dang easily. Oh, so she, okay, okay, good, good, good. So she knew. She was just baiting them. Yo, that is absolutely brilliant. Although, wouldn't they also be able to use magic too, though? Or not? Okay, now, okay, now, because she's saying that they're going to survive now. She jinxed herself! <laughs> Oh, 
oh yeah, we haven't actually seen her combat against any other spider attacks yet in the series. Just better hope that none of them have like the, anything majorly broken, like Black Abyss abilities or anything of that nature. Sorry about that. Good. <laughs> the thing is, though, if the mother herself shows up, it's going to make things even... Oh! Yeah, she's... And it's just surprising the amount of strength web is so powerful they can actually rip a limb off with their webbing. <laughs> Look like I can sink her. I mean, hope she launches multiple attacks though. <laughs> the thing is they may not be able to compete with her intellectually but I have a feeling that if she pisses off the mother enough she might actually have a lot of intelligence though <laughs> yes Whoa, I love it. Oh, what? what? Damn. Yeah. She can't be taking any chances with these uber looking spiders. I was almost just like, oh, no, no, no. And you know something I like about this too? It shows you that. Oh, what? What? Ugh, and the thing is, it's recovering a lot more quickly than she can cause the damage. Oh, yeah. It also happened when she was finding some of the previous enemies where if she were to be hit by any attack, sometimes she would gain the immunity. Or some resistance towards it as she was fight battling some of the early episodes. So it makes sense that her brother would be able to do the same too. Just, yes, it finally broke! <laughs> yeah, burn! Sure, might as well eat it to get some status upgrades. I mean, hey, for her to do all that on a moment's notice is impressive, though. Oh, so look at the girl! I always love seeing her eat her spoils. Her spoils of war. teaser <gasps> I mean hey those other spiders deserve it though trying to claim our life for a cutesy little spider Oh, man, it definitely feels like a larger signal this time because it was just a spark. Now it's a red spark. What, is she going to try to send a signal back to annoy the fuck out of the mother? Oh, 
Oh. I just love the way she says it all deviously. Hey, it's only fair. And the mother keeps on saying uh, communications towards her that are knowing the fuck out of her. It's only fair that she does the same too. Yeah, and plus, wouldn't it be dangerous for them to be going into the mother? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I guess she ain't wrong about that. I have a feeling they're gonna be get their asses whooped. I mean, I want them to succeed, but if the mother's prominently showed off in the opening, I highly doubt. Mm, I mean, gambaro. I mean, I hope. Hope they can succeed. Yo, is it sounding pretty damn fire? Hmm. Oh, I thought for a second she was actually tackling on a foe, but it just looks like it's a celebration with um some of those celebration cannons going on. Cool. Hey, you know, if there was a, if she actually had a concert, I'd actually watch it. <laughs> Feels like it'd be lit. Ah. Uh, God, I mean, she looks adorable with that outfit. Whoa. Okay, I wonder if there's going to be a scene in the actual core where she's going to lose most of her body except for the head. <laughs> Jeez. Looking like me actually... No. Makes sense that they were to actually elevate the, the stakes for this score. Yo, yeah, well, actually, I guess more than ED1. I thought ED1 was amazing. Aw, this is like an adorable blanket. Oh. I mean, I just hope that he didn't kill the two girls, but you never know with them. Oh, this... This son of a bitch! I mean... Oh. I mean, hey, at least there's a live... You rebelling, I'm self depreciating. <laughs> I love the title for the next one. Alright, this episode is pretty badass. If I were to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being abysmal, 5 being average, and 10 being exceptional, I'm definitely going to be giving this. You know what? I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I was going to give it an 8.5, but the new opening ED are so freaking badass. I got to give it a high ass score. I think it deserves it. At least in my opinion, because honestly, I feel like the episode, it covered a lot of interesting material. For one, it is nice seeing just the plot twist, because at the end of the episode, we see Silas alongside Hugo, which I'm thinking, man, this motherfucker. And, I, and he looked pretty damn cool, too. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense, considering the fact that, narratively, they are going to have to give some of the family members of Sean, at the very least, some prominence. And if one of them is a traitor, well, then that's a perfect way of giving them screenshot naturally. So I do like that twist there, because now it's going to make this any situation regarding 
Shun or should I say Sclain? It's going to give it a lot more gravitas now, emotional gravitas. And aside from that little twist of Silas being a traitor, just a little bastard, something else that I also really love about this episode too, I do like the fact that for this one, it's up in the stakes for Akita Little Spider now that she's going up against her own mother. Which I'm like, yo, what a salty ass old lady. Just imagine banning your child for multiple years and be like, oh yeah, come back to me. I'm like, the fuck? I really hope our girl wrecks her mother. Uh, that'd be absolutely fabulous to see. So I like that too. Because now it's going to at least give an emotional connection between the opposing forces that our main spider is going to have to deal with. So that's something I also like about it too. It's giving it a nice emotional punch. I love how we're seeing Consequence of the Elf sparing Hugo, which I thought we were going to see him. Just didn't think we're going to see Consequences this soon. And the visuals are actually pretty darn nice too. I got to give credit to the animation staff. They really made everything look good. Oh, vocal performances were great, especially for our main voice actress. She did a fantastic job. And that's why I feel the episode is worthy of a 9 out of 10. It just covered Ellen. The music was pretty darn awesome, too. But, anyways, y'all.